have I found a house? So the answer to that is we will be ready to rock and roll. I wanted to take a break to thank Stash for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So planning for my future has been something that's been heavy on my mind, but it's also a bit overwhelming not knowing anything about investing or where to start. So I recently found Stash and as a beginner in investing, I love how easy Stash makes it for me. Stash is a personal finance app that makes investing easy and affordable. Something that I've learned with using Stash is that you don't need a lot of money to start investing. It's more about the consistency of it, even if it's just a small amount. I'm able to set what I want to transfer into my portfolio and how frequently I want it to automatically transfer from my bank account. I have mine set up on a monthly basis, but you do have weekly and bi-weekly options as well. As far as stocks go, they have something called fractional shares where you're actually able to buy pieces of stocks versus the full share. You're able to invest with $5 or less in stocks like Amazon, Apple, Tesla. So I love that I'm able to invest based on my own budget. Stash also has an entire section dedicated to educate their users on financial topics and how to start investing so you don't need to be an expert. Plans starting at $3 a month, Stash can help anyone build wealth and hit their financial goals. I am also excited to know that they offer custodial accounts for my children so I can plan for their future as well. Click the link in my description box or the YouTube pinned comment to sign up for Stash today. Again, a big thank you to Stash for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So I got some new sheets yesterday. We went to an Amazon bin store. It's like a store where they sell a whole bunch of overstock for really cheap. These are from Target. I'm not sure how much they retail at Target. I'll have to look it up, but I only paid $8. And they're just cute little Christmas sheets, so I wanted to get them washed so I can get them on my bed. They're gray with little snowflakes all over them, so I'm going to go ahead and get these in the washing machine so I can get them on my bed before I make it up for the day. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found And I was gonna tell y'all too, in case you didn't see on Instagram, we did get our washing machine turned around the right way. We got a hose that's long enough. So we had somebody come and hook it up and we were able to turn it around. So that was really exciting. It's so much easier to be able to do our laundry with the washing machine turned the way it's supposed to be and not having to reach over and look at the buttons on this side.
y'all it has been a hectic morning but it is a little after lunch now and I'm gonna make a breakfast casserole I want to try out this recipe to see how it is before I share it over on my cooking channel so I thought today we would have this for lunch it looks so good in the pictures and the ingredients are pretty simple so I wanted to try this out to see how it would be for like a Christmas morning casserole but you'll need some french vanilla creamer two cans of cinnamon rolls there's five rolls in each two eggs vanilla extract cream cheese and powdered sugar i'm just gonna put it into this dish here the recipe says to use an 11 by 7 i believe and this is a little bit smaller than the 9 by 13 we have so i think this is about the size i'm gonna need okay so the recipe also calls for allspice but i don't have allspice so i'm just gonna use a combination of cinnamon and nutmeg but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two cans of cinnamon rolls and we're gonna quarter them up into fours put them into the casserole dish and then we're going to mix together the creamer the eggs my two spices here cinnamon and nutmeg vanilla whisk that together pour it over the cinnamon rolls yeah so after that it'll be ready to go into the oven and then we'll work on the frosting Okay, so this is gonna bake in the oven on 375 for 35 to 40 minutes. I'm gonna set my timer for 35 minutes and we will check it. And if we need to bake it a little bit longer, we will. I always forget to take out the cast iron pan. at the KitchenAid. You can also use a hand mixer for this, which is what I would rather do for something like this, but I don't have a hand mixer, so I'm just using my KitchenAid with the whisk attachment. So you'll need both containers of your cream cheese frosting from the cinnamon rolls, and then only two ounces of this cream cheese block. This is an eight ounce block, and you only need two ounces, so I'll just cut a little bit off of that, and then you need an eighth of a cup of powdered sugar, whisk it together until there's no lumps and your frosting is ready. I just took it out of the oven I had to go ahead and take it out about a minute early because it started to burn I think I had it too high in the oven I should have moved it down a rack 
it was a little bit too close to the coils but I think it's done it just got a little toasty on top so the next thing we do is just spoon over this cream cheese mixture over the top and it's ready I do have some bacon in the oven so we're gonna wait on that to come out and we will have it with some fruit but i'm really excited to try this i think it's gonna be really really good it kind of reminds me of the tiktok cinnamon rolls with the tiktok cinnamon rolls you use heavy cream but with this you're using coffee creamer Okay y'all, I just had to try this and it is so, so good. So this will be a really good breakfast casserole to make for Christmas morning. We got some bacon, some cantaloupe, and I just made a plate for me, Kane, and Ray, even though Ray is napping right now, I went ahead and made her a plate. Kai doesn't want any, he's not too big on sweets or bacon, so he opted out. But here you go, you can take it to the table. Your mama get you a fork. Mm-hmm. So we literally have 20 minutes until we need to get out the door. My son has piano today, so I'm gonna quickly get ready. I'm not gonna wear really any makeup except my BB cream and maybe some mascara. I need to wash my hair. I'll probably do that tonight. It's been close to a week now and I can definitely tell. So I'll probably have to do that tonight. I just need to comb this dry shampoo through my hair, make sure I don't have any like white patches. I'm gonna put a claw clip in, which is my go-to and we will be ready to rock and roll. Pretty girl. Look at her. She's so pretty. Yes, look at Ray Ray's hair. I got this also from the Amazon bin store yesterday. It was a two pack. It was this one and another. And she loves dresses, so and if it gets cold outside, she can always put on leggings. Pretty girl. There's a pretty girl. While we wait on Kai to get out of piano, I ran over to my P.O. box and I had a package. I'm pretty sure I know what is in here. I was talking to a very sweet subscriber the other day, Malagra. I hope I am saying your name right, but she was asking if she could send me a little care package. So I think that's what's in here. I figured we could open it up together and I could show you guys what she sent me. She was so sweet. So first up, there's this bag, this little zipper pouch. So inside of the little pouch are some, looks like some fancy bobby pins. They've got little stones all over them and super sparkly. She also put in the pouch a couple of different lip balms. This one is raspberry pomegranate. It doesn't say, but it has raspberries and pomegranates on the front and this one has lemons and she says that all of this is from a local boutique that's near her i'm not sure what the name of the boutique is it's just some items that she thought that i might like so that was super sweet of her but this is a tea infuser so i can use that when i do my tea next up she sent a super cute little eye mask it's got little lemons all over it it's a cute little keychain purse you could put change in there got sunflowers on it oh and she sent me some tea to go with that tea infuser 
So we've got minty comfort, caffeine free so I can have this at night before bed. And this one is 40 winks. These are some handmade wax melts. This is the scent grapefruit. I love wax melts so I'll have to put these in the wax warmer when we get home. Next up we have a moisturizer, the brand item. Gel moisturizer for oily and combo skin. This is a soy candle. I wanna open it up so I can smell it. It's very, very light. It smells woodsy. It smells just like a Christmas tree. So we have one more thing in here and then I'm gonna open up this bag. It looks like Ooh. some super cute dish towels. They're just a black and white. They've got pigs and chickens and ducks and they are microfiber. All right, let's open up this one. Oh my goodness, she sent a Louis Vuitton purse. Everyone, I love it. Thank you wanting, so much. Everyone's been wanting that, right? <laughs> I guess so. And it also comes with a strap. Yes. That's sick. <laughs> Kane says that's sick. But it's got three pockets, it looks like. That was so sweet of you. Thank you so much. But that is everything that she sent. Thank you again, Malagra. I hope I am saying your name right. That was so sweet of you to send all of this stuff and take the time to package it all up. You did not have to do that at all. We are back home now. The boys have gone to their dad's. So it's just me and Ray until my mom gets home. I figured while I have some daylight time left, I've got about an hour left of daylight, go out here and straighten up the porch and kind of refresh it for Christmas time. I need to take down my fall stuff. Both of my moms are dead. They died a few weeks ago. So I've got some poinsettias I want to set out. And I also went to the Dollar Tree yesterday and picked up just a couple of things I could set out on the porch. I wanted to get like cheap things that wouldn't matter if it got damaged. With the weather and the rain, I didn't want to set any of my good stuff out here and it get damaged. So I just went to the Dollar Tree and picked up a couple of things that I think will look good. I'm not gonna do anything crazy out here. I'm just putting a few pops of Christmas. And also Ray's birthday is this weekend and it's gonna be here. So I wanna make sure that the porch is nice and clean before we have guests over. So here are the poinsettias. I am obsessed with poinsettias. They've always been one of my favorites. They were two for 12 at Lowe's. So I got two of those. And then what I picked up from the Dollar Tree, I got this little sign here. This little pillow, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. I'm thinking somewhere over here. I might keep that little hay bale out. And then this, I also got maybe to prop up by the front door. It says, Peace on Earth. And then I got this little fake poinsettia, maybe to set out by one of these pieces. But like I said, I'm not doing anything crazy. I just wanted to put out a few pops of Christmas. I think that's about all I'm gonna do out here. I just put the little red truck sign with the pillow and the 
mini poinsettia here by our welcome sign. I'm gonna reuse these buffalo check pillows. I think they are also perfect for Christmas. This is all just a bunch of random stuff I've gotta take in, some fall decor. This I just couldn't find a place for, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. But I cleaned our table, got all the leaves blown off the porch. I think there's a few left. My leaf blower was starting to die, so I do wanna wash this buffalo check rug be freshen that up because you can see where it's dingy compared to underneath this thankful rug is like bright white so I might wash this before the birthday party and I'm just gonna keep this thankful rug out here we are thankful all year round I love my poinsettias y'all will have to let me know in the comments how to care for these I've never taken care of a poinsettia before Obviously, I wasn't very good with the mums because they died pretty quick. I don't know how well poinsettias do in the outdoors. I've always seen them indoors, but hopefully here under the porch where it's shaded, they'll be okay. But like I said, I love poinsettias. I think they are so pretty. You're gonna see me spraying some of this on my bed. Every time I use it, I get questions. So I wanted to show you guys up close and kind of explain what it is. So it's from the brand from Molly with Love. It's called Sleepin' Beauty. It's just like a relaxing spray that you can spray onto your sheets. It has like a lavender scent to it, but I love it. It smells so relaxing. I got this like three years ago in a pregnancy subscription box and I still have this much left. I don't use it all the time, but I will use it when I put on fresh sheets just because it smells good and it's really relaxing. So I wanted to show you guys up close and explain. actually did not get to make up my bed earlier in the day. It's getting closer to bedtime, so I just went ahead and got my bed all ready to crawl into. But I'm about to go hop into the bath and get settled in for the night, and I will see you guys tomorrow with a Q&A. How do y'all like my new coffee cup? It says, mama needs coffee. And that is accurate. This mama always needs coffee. So it is a new day. I wanted to do a Q and A and include it in this vlog. I didn't have time to actually sit down in front of the camera yesterday. So I have a little bit of time this morning. I'm just going to sit and chat and have some coffee so make a cup of coffee if you haven't got one already I haven't done a Q&A in about six months and I like to do these every so often just to kind of catch up with you guys it's kind of hard when you're filming cleaning videos to talk about this kind of stuff so I asked you guys on Instagram to send me in your questions so I'm gonna go through those and we're gonna get those answered the way I did my nails last night these are the press on nails I was showing you in one of my last vlogs. They are the peanut pink nails. You can see them better in this light. They're like a reddish pink color with a little shimmer to them. I thought they were so pretty for Christmas. So we'll start with the first one. A repeat question I was getting is how did I decide to homeschool my kids? So at first it was supposed to be temporary we had started homeschooling during the pandemic after that first year we just really loved it we loved the flexibility and the freedom that comes with homeschool and i just love 
being with my kids and teaching them and I also work from home so I have a lot of flexibility and I wanted to take this opportunity to be able to homeschool my kids they really enjoy it as well which leads me into another question I saw if my kids wanted to go back to public school would I put them back in and the answer to that is yes I will always do what they are more happy with i ask them all the time do you guys want to go back to public school or are you happy homeschooling and both of them love homeschool but the answer to that is yes i will put them back in if i see it as necessary or if they are just happier in a public school setting somebody asked if i prefer grocery shopping in person or doing a grocery pickup order so nine times out of ten I like to do a grocery pickup order just because I'm a busy mom with three kids and it's not always easy to take them into the store. Plus I save a lot of money on doing my grocery pickup because I'm just ordering what I need on the app. I'm not seeing all this other stuff in front of me and impulse buying. So I save money doing grocery pickup but there are times when I like to go in the store and just browse and see what's new because you don't really get to see everything on the grocery pickup app so every now and then if i don't have the kids with me i do like to go in the store and actually shop around and look and take my time but nine times out of ten i'm doing grocery pickup so another question that someone asked is if i miss having my own space i would be lying if i said i don't miss having my own space because i do i miss having you know my own house i do miss the kids having their own room and me having my own room it was a lot easier we are cramped in that little room but we're making it work but to answer your question i do miss having my own space don't get me wrong i really enjoy living with my mom she is a major help with the cooking and the cleaning like we tag team everything so that's something that i'm definitely going to miss when we move out into our own house i'm going to be solo 100 percent on my own which is kind of scary because i've never lived like 100 percent on my own with my kids i got married right out of high school so i went from my parents house to being married and having a spouse and then i'm back in my mom's house living with her and now we're about to go and be in our own house so it's going to be really challenging but i think that it'll all work out um, someone else asked how are you going to separate the things you and your mom got together when you move so i plan to completely start fresh i'm going to be leaving my bed the kids bunk beds all of that because i actually want to get them real beds i despise their bunk beds they're really hard to make up so i would like to get them like regular beds for their rooms i'm not going to be taking any of the dressers or anything that is all furniture that was here when i came so i'm going to be leaving that as far as like furniture in the living room like this is all hers anyways when i redid her living room this was a gift to her this is all her stuff so i'm going to be starting fresh and buying all new things which i really look forward to it's kind of like a fresh start for me and something exciting especially in my kids bedrooms i look forward to decorating those we've already been talking about each theme they want and how we're going to decorate everything as far as splitting anything i'm not taking anything furniture wise i do have a few dishes i want to take that are mine but everything else is going to stay someone asked how long did i breastfeed so i breastfed my first child for nine months but i supplemented him with formula with him i kind of struggled with breastfeeding so I just breastfed when I could and gave him formula when I felt like he needed more and that went for about nine months and then my second born I exclusively breastfed him he was 17 months when I weaned him and then Ray she was exclusively breastfed she was about the same age when I weaned her so all together between all of my kids I would say four years so that's a really long time to breastfeed but it's something that i was very blessed with and very grateful that i could do for my kids next question is what did you want to be when you grew up if you didn't have youtube what is your dream job so growing up as a kid i wanted to be a nurse i actually went to school to be a nurse for a very short period of time and then i got married and you guys know how that goes i never picked back up with it but I'm kind of glad because I don't think I would have been happy doing that. Like I imagine myself as a nurse 
now and I don't know that I would be happy being a nurse so I kind of feel like I'm where I need to be I don't think that the nursing career path was meant for me I have to say if I wasn't doing YouTube although this is my dream job if I wasn't doing YouTube I would probably be doing something in social media or I would own my own business of some kind I just like to be in charge of myself and my own hours I worked for three years in an office and I absolutely hated it like I, that was one of the worst three years of my life I was so depressed getting up and going but I went because I knew I had to we had bills to pay and it wasn't long after that I was able to stay home with my second baby that was born and then it wasn't long after that I started my YouTube channel and thank goodness I have grown it to where it's now my full-time income but I have to say if I wasn't doing this I would be doing something in social media or running my own business of some sort someone asked what's my favorite go-to fast food restaurant when I'm out running errands I would have to say it's probably Zaxby's they're like a southern um, chain restaurant they sell fried chicken but I have to say that's probably my go-to I find myself going there more so than the other restaurants in town also someone asked how do you keep your fake nails from ruining your real nails and how to keep them on so I've never had problems with fake nails ruining my nails so these are the impress you guys have heard me talk about them before how I really just didn't care for them but I have found it's because I didn't know how to apply them properly so when I first started using impress I could not get them to stay on my nails to save my life I would put them on and they were falling off within the hour and it's because I just wasn't doing it the right way so thankfully one of you guys sent me a message I meant to respond to you and as soon as I read it I got distracted by one of the kids and I never got a chance to respond and now I can't find it it's buried somewhere in my DMs but basically what she was telling me is to make sure that you file your nail bed good to kind of sand it and then take the alcohol swab that comes with the kit clean your nail bed really good and then you're gonna take your nail and press it on there really tight hold it for about I've been doing about 10 seconds and making sure that it's on there really good and I also do this before bed because you're actually not supposed to wet these for eight hours which is something I was doing I would do my nails and then go wash my hands and they would just fall off within the hour but I've been doing them before I go to bed that way they're not wet for at least eight hours and the last set that I put on they lasted for a good week and a half i just popped them off yesterday now when you do take these off it will leave a little bit of the adhesive on your nail bed but you can just pull it right off or sometimes what i'll do is take a nail file and file it off but i've not had any problems with them actually ruining my nails so another question i was getting asked a lot is about my relationship status and Ray's dad and all of that so me and him have been in a relationship for the past two years now everything has been going really good you guys may have seen him in a few of my videos helping me in the background with some of the DIY projects that I've been doing but it's been about two years now and everything's been going really good so far me and Ray will go and stay with him sometimes on the weekends that's actually the other kitchen that you guys see in my cooking videos is his kitchen I do a lot of my cooking over there but to answer your question yes I am still with Ray's dad and another big question I wanted to answer is about my home situation and what's going on with that have I found a house so the answer to that is yes but I can't give away details yet until everything is finalized it is so exciting I cannot wait to be able to tell y'all but i'm just waiting on things to finalize so trust me as soon as everything has been finalized hopefully in the next coming weeks i will be able to share that news with you guys but that's kind of where we're at i do have something i just can't talk about it yet but that is going to be all for this q a i hope that you guys enjoyed today's video hopefully you got some motivation definitely try that breakfast casserole it was so good but that is going to be all for today's video thank you guys for watching make sure to leave a butterfly emoji in the comments down below and i'll see you in the next one bye